All right, boys. So for bus routes, six towns are connected by a bus route. Uh, by bus routes. And here's this diagram. This diagram is very important for understanding this question. The bus goes from A back to A, meaning the bus will go A, B, C, D, E, F, and back to A. So it must form a complete uh, route that starts at A and ends at A. Okay. So that being said, um, it visits each of the other towns. So from, uh, from its journey where it starts at A, it goes to every single one of the other towns, and then it goes back to A. How many different routes are there? So best way to understand this is to do one route and explain it as I go. So it starts at A and it ends at A. So there's the start, there's the end. Okay, now if we look at this one here, let me switch to green so it's a little different. So if we look at A, there are two bus routes going off it. One goes to B and the other one goes to F. So we're gonna go B. Now when we get to B, there are two options. B can go to C or it can, it can go to C there or it can cross across like that to D. So let's say we go to D. Then from D, it cuts. We can cut back to C or go on to E. So I'm going to say it goes to C. So it takes that one to C and then it cuts across to E and then it goes F. So let me check my route here. There's A, B, there's A, B, C, D, E, F, and we finish at A again. So that's one of the routes. Now the question is asking, how many different routes are there? Okay, so just trying to get rid of all of this. Let me erase it. Okay, so what you've got to do is you've got to work out all the different routes there could be to go from A back to A again, but you can only use the bus routes here. So you can't say A over there jumps across to D because there is no route from A to D. Okay, so that's our first thing. You need to get rid of this and let me erase here. Okay, so question one, you're just gonna work out how many different bus routes there are. So that's question one. Question two says, which one is the cheapest? So you're gonna have all your lists here. So let's just do A, B, C, D, E, or E, close that one off, E, F and back to A. All right, so that's one bus route. You're gonna have all your bus routes listed out. I'm just using this one as an example. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at this table down here. And for question two, you've gotta find out the cheapest. So to do that, you've gotta go, okay, the cost from A to B is $4. So I'm gonna do that in red. And then from B to C is $3. So we put three there. From C to D is $4. From D to E is another $4. From E to F is $3, and from F to A, well, you, there we go, is $4. And for this bus route, all we do is go 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 4 is 11, plus 4 is 15, plus 3 is 18, plus uh, 4 is 22. So this bus route costs 22 rand, 22 dollars, or 22 euros, whatever currency you're using. You've got to find out for every one of the bus routes you found in option A, and you need to find the cheapest and say, this is the cheapest, A, B, C, D, whatever, okay? All right, good luck, boys.